Hello, my name is Ed Boyle and I'm with the Inovia Vein Specialty Centers and today I'm going to talk about the importance of using compression to help people who have venous disease, especially people who have had blood clots and also people just with chronic venous disease which sometimes will manifest with leg swelling and some skin problems around the ankle. So one of the first approaches is to think about whether or not compression can help. One of the problems with venous disease in the leg is the pressure coming down on the legs from above and causing fluid to weep into the tissues. And that's what leg swelling is. So when we see leg swelling, like if you pull down a sock and there's a line, or if your leg is clearly swollen, you can't see the ankle bones, that's because there's been a lot of pressure from above, oftentimes from the veins. So one of the things that we usually start with is a compression sock to try to squeeze that fluid and get that fluid back into the system and out of the legs. And so it's kind of like squeezing a wet sponge and squeezing that fluid out. What we're trying to do is get that out of the tissues so it can get into the lymphatics and go back into the body. But if it sits down there in the leg, uh, down by the ankles, it can stretch out the skin, which can cause redness, can cause um, irritation, kind of a warmth feeling to it. Sometimes it feels like the skin is starting to crack and sometimes it does. Okay, so getting rid of, getting rid of um, leg swelling sometimes revolves around using a form of compression. It can come in the form of a sock, for example, like compression socks. It can also come in the form of a Velcro wrap, and these are wraps that go around the leg that can kind of squeeze down. And that's really good for folks who have legs of different sizes or if one leg's really swollen. And then there's also some other custom type of options. Now, the next thing that's really important is trying to get the socks that properly fit. And a lot of folks can get them over the counter off Amazon at a medical supply shop or a vein uh, clinic like ours. But some folks that's difficult uh, because of um, the way their legs are, are shaped and they need some special fitting. So it is important to seek out expert help for that, especially if you have some fitting challenges. The next issue to consider is what's the strength? And these compression socks can be in kind of, we call it mild, medium, and heavy compression. Mild would be like 15 millimeters of mercury or less. The mediums are kind of 20 to 30. The heavies are kind of uh, 30 and above. Most people medium for venous disease. Occasionally people with very severe venous disease with a lot of long-term swelling need to get up into that 30 and 40 range, but it takes a while to get there. Now finally, I talk to people about what do they need in the long term. Sometimes when we first see people, we have them um, in what we call a reduction phase, where we're working really hard to get that swollen leg down to almost normal size. And for some folks, that's a lot of repetitive work. Sometimes we'll have to wrap the legs for them every couple of days and really get that down. Or other folks who can get into an off-the-counter or over-the-counter sock and get that on and really start getting that leg compressed. But once they get it down to almost normal size, then they need something for maintenance. So they go from reduction to maintenance. And once they get to maintenance, then it needs to be something that fits into their lifestyle. And that's where I say, you know, maybe a knee high, maybe go on Amazon and find something that, 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 that looks better for you and that costs less for you. Um, and there's a lot of options. So you kind of start off in this medical phase, this reduction phase, with the goal of getting down to this maintenance phase for a long-term plan. So in conclusion, compression is a very important part of taking care of people with vein, venous issues, including blood clots, including venous insufficiency, vein ulcers, very important. Um, and trying to figure out the best option for, the, for each patient is a challenge, but it's something that we work on every day and we can help advise on. Thank you very much.